Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem where the attack on Rigel Castle has begun with Rudolf ordering his troops to lay down arms if we defeat him. We storm it, arm versus Rudolf at last. Who will prevail, deliverance or a nation that has tormented us all this time? Alright, so if he can attack a range of five... He can't double Delphia, he, but he still do like quite a bit of damage. Do I push this? And make it harder for him or move it back? And let him attack who's there. I think I should have let him attack. Yeah, I should. Yeah, thanks. It's not going to be Cliff because he's got just high, too high defense. It's going to be Delphia. I could rescue Delphia and let him attack Cliff instead. Which, to be honest, is actually a great idea. In fact, I could rescue and warp. That works too, I guess. Should have used Fortify after. Never mind. And the other thing I should have checked is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. That is his max range. Essentially, I want him to go as far into us as he can go. Yes. Allow me. So if I put arm here as the lure, arm bait, rescue Delph. As soon as I deal with the archers, the next two armor knights are just ridiculously easy. Why did they rush me? This is a terrible tactical move. And Lucas, you stay up there. Well, at least them rushing me should means I can set up defences and I don't have to come towards them. Always look on the bright side of life, eh? I was say, if only you had Valbar's Coral Guard thing. Wait, that art... Oh, that's the archer that just got healed, yeah. Alright, these guys have javelins, so their range is a lot further than you think. We're gonna get attacked by some horsebound archers here, so that's not a problem. That's the max range. Just wondering if I should mess with them and backline someone. We count on this guy and we click on this guy. We see his ranges of that, right? And we got some fairly easy kills here. I'm so confused why we're doing this. I bow down to the almighty Delphia. Right, get her out again. And heal up your kid's sister. 
<laughs> Much better. All right. So if we play with max range with this guy again, we're pretty much just going to get everyone to nuke the crap out of these guys when they move forward for more spaces. I think. And send arm in, etc. It's the thing right now. If arm were right next to me already, I'd already done it. But basically Claire is going to make up some of the damage for a movement. Come get good old army boy. It should work just because of the warp and hijinks I can do. Thank you. This is I can't talk over this music. <laughs> I feel essentially wrong. Come at me, fools. You got armor crush, haven't you? Well then, come on up. Be the next lure. How can they not fire up there? Can we not get up there? Oh, wait a second, it's a tower. We really can't. I'm so confused. It's not about what Selica and her group are doing. Selica's trapped with Jeddah and they all got walked down, didn't they? We know what they're we know what Selica's doing. It's her group. What are they doing in the meantime? A ton of horsemen are about to kill that archer. Luke is like, hup, hup, hup. Because we're about to backdoor the hell out of this guy in a second. Okay, you can't kill him. I kind of thought you couldn't. You got a fair bit of defense on them. That's why arms go in. Delphia can get the other one without an issue. Our oh, cliff's non range. That ruins everything. Enjoy. It's the Slade surprise. I'm gonna say, do I need to use double line to get enough damage on that guy? I do. I thought I might do. Sken scale, arms ultimate art. Well, we're not gonna use it on this guy, but uh, it does 14 MT, an HP cost of 16, for a range of two. It'd be interesting to try it out, but we're not trying it out yet. First of all, we're killing this guy. He interrupted the music. I can tell I'm getting stronger. So good. Essentially, a load of horsemen are going to descend and kill this guy in the end. So we just need to work out the rest. He started, he started the session with 5 res. He gained 3 res from a fountain. He's gained 2 natural res from his levels. Can you really ask for much more than that? You could Excalibur him. I wouldn't advise it. There we go. That's everyone in position to take out this forward-facing force of stupid suicidal goons. 
This is really the only way I can level them. They didn't have to come at me. Really amusing. Full marks. Ten out of ten. That was amazing. It was. Gives me some extra avoidance, I guess. But to be honest, it's fine doing it this way. Oh, it's more than fine. Oh, he lived! Someone wasn't happy about that. Tatiana, Yana, Tatiana, Yana! Hit the switch! No more min manics in my maintenance of troops. Right, so we've taken out the right side. We haven't even been there. These guys are stuck to stay there by the look of it. So now we've got to send arm up to help Lucas with all these. Uh, we can storm the front. So that's not an issue now, unless they maybe go for arm. They could go for arm. They might go for arm. They will go for arm. It's an interesting thought. Definitely gonna go for arm, aren't they? It's just got slightly less defense. So that's the uh, we're gonna kill them for you, boss group. If they go for arm, then Lucas can trap them. But they're not gonna go for arm. What defense is arm at? There we go. It's only that guy. Ugh. I was going to say, it's very unfortunate. You didn't enter Delphia's range. Lies. You're definitely in Delphia's range. No, you're not in Delphi's range still. What? Oh, she's too far away. I can't stand up. I mean, I could just straight trap him. And kill him that way. I need Delphia to be in range. Oh, wait a second. She can get in range. It's all good. She can get in range anyway. With a rescue. This guy can actually hit me back. How? Haven't I got a longbow? There we go. That's better. So this guy can't move now, so that's his attack range. Find out... I just want to position the warp arm in. There we go. You dead now, sir. Arm will have his revenge. Our skin scale does not do enough damage. I think he kills with a double attack here, doesn't he? Don't overcomplicate it when we don't need to. Success. 
Right, so there's Rampart Force. Now we can send forward safely Front Storming Force. Now, how is the best way to trigger these? Oh, wait a second, that's Rudolph. Who's betting that I suddenly have to run backwards? Uh, no one actually is able to challenge Rudolph except for Armin Lucas. Arm with Sken scale, maybe. We need both of them to be in range, I think. To just make it a comfortable takedown. So what we'll do first of all... Just keep pushing, really. We just need to kill a couple of these guys. And then we'll move from there. We did. You moved into Lucas's attack range. Did you forget he can melee? He's always been capable. Oh, Lucas. Failure. Let's start tearing through each unit then, eh? Double line's too good. Crit. Nope. I'll never yield. Didn't intend to. Fine work. Right, so there's the side going. So if I move in range of Rudolph, will he move? If he does, because he's got 24 speed and doubles with a 30 attack, he will kill most people. Just wondering if I should send Delphia up there. Who's got to take the attack? Arm doesn't have enough speed. Hmm. Bravo, Seahawks! Let's just continue our way up there. Thank you. What's the guy who won't? Blimmin' moves. Movement range. I can always rescue her back down. If this guy even moves, he won't kill her anyway. So I can speed up our walk forward with this. One Ragnarok good. One most things is good. If she doesn't get the hit, she dies by the way. That's what I'm saying, same Bravo Seahorse. I'm being so slow. That's a good level. I don't care what you say, that is a great level. I don't have anyone with 24 speed. Much better. That isn't Delphia. <laughs> but then she gets laid down by her spells. If I had someone with 24 speed, I could pull Rudolph. I do. I 
I don't know if he'll pull or not. Oh, look, now he moves. When Delphia gets in range. Oh, there we go. Maybe I was right to stay. It's because I pulled this guy. Now I can't stop hearing it. Bravo Seahorse. I can't stop hearing it. Oh no! Damn it! <laughs> Chat's wondering what's happening. This is like the penultimate battle, isn't it? Well, except we know that Jeddah's captured someone, but you know. Penultimate but one. This is the guy we gotta worry about. These are the guys we don't, but because they've moved, that's great. I need you back! Am I better off running backwards again? I'm not even kidding, I might be. Alright, on the next turn he's gonna make it one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can't attack very far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then he can attack like up to there on the next turn. The problem is is that it lies within Rudolph's attack range. Unless. I do some warp hijinks for someone powerful enough to take him down. Or it runs this way. Or I have... Where's Matilda? Matilda's there. This is how I'm seeing it at the moment. As long as he runs this way, we're fine. If he doesn't, then... Ah! Pain! But... Come back down, Delphia. Don't need you, Tobin. Need you there. Back out. Bit of rearrangement. I blame you for not being able to hear. It's like a Bravo Seahorse every two seconds, man. know if there's anyone I can visit, really. Surely keep the experience rolling. Thank you. Where am I doing? See, because they move to there next turn. So that means I can attack these guys with spell casters on this line. So it all depends where silly archer man drives. Where's he driving? Good, uh, good silly archer man. Whoever I send in is under threat from that guy. So that's 19 damage there. You can't double. I kind of need to uh, get rid of someone first. I mean, she's got enough stuff to be like one shot KOs for most things. Ollie's on here, I can't. We're running out of troops. Remember when he said, lay down your arms if you get killed? I could just warp in. You have skill, I see. And I want to make sure we're okay. Come on then, bloke. When we know Rudolph's range, we can really get our arm kind of forward now. Alright. 
Oh, they can't reach. Zeke can. He's got more defense, but he's got less speed than this guy? He's got the same speed. I could always rescue him out. This is maximum spot. I use Excalibur. Only Sagittae is powerful enough, eh? That's fine. We should be fine for the next turn after doing this. No Cantor game's fun again. Well, it also helps that the enemies are coming straight to me. We can do this again. Excellent. Essentially, I'm funneling them. <laughs> Alright, now I can game. Yeah, I don't want to go from that way, but I do want to go from this way. Get a crit! Why must I kill all these troops? Uh, you think they're just going to let me walk past them? when they're coming to try and kill me. <sighs> right, there we can see the range. If we get Tatiana forward enough that she can use her physic. Matilda's more than enough to take her on. Oh, she disappeared. So that'll be that guy. So there'll be three guys left after this. Do you think he moves or not? We'll find out in the future. Get behind her, Clive. One so she can protect you. Right, we can actually get loads of people into attack range now. And if I can cast Enclosure on him. We might be able to peel off his, like, group, his guys around him. Because he's got only close range. So if I could get it on him, then we'd be laughing. But remember, guys, Bravity Horse. Quick! Send your love arms away. We got this. It's nearly done. Do you think if you were commentating, you'd be able to talk over this music as easily? To be honest, if it's cool, it just feels like you're pooing on the work a little bit. I know that I talk over everything, and some people actually do think that. Like, man, he's just mocking everything by talking over it. Oh, you scared me. Stop that with the scaring. It does. Stiff door. Right, Matilda's easily enough to take that one down. Though, she did get hurt like a ton. Oh, Rudolph moved! I'm fine. I don't understand the last... Yes, please, thank you. The last, the Rudolph moved. That changes everything. Is it because I stepped near this guy and pulled the horsemen's? The horsemen's? That said, though, he's basically walked into range of every spellcaster. Some would call that a very stupid move. So, how much damage does Ragnarok do? Mmm. <laughs> And if you look, because I'm wearing move Fey, Fey is in range with Arm to pull Arm to take this on. That said, we don't actually have to kill any more troops, but uh, that experience, you know. Well, <laughs> that experience has to be got. Rudolph has legs. 
Yeah, but technically I could stop him moving. Which would be funny as hell, really. I'm trying to, only a little bit. You said Rudolph has legs? He has no legs now. He like literally can't move so I can take two turns on him and kill everything if I want to. All right. Let's face it, we got loads of people in range enough to do it. But we're not gonna. First of all, it's to take that guy out. Well, first of all, we may as well just drop the bomb that we know is coming. 100% hit chance. It's just ridiculous, man. Luck 20. Luck 20 plus 13. Or 13 plus 20. You didn't count on the luck of meeting Delphia in the field of battle, did you? Oh my goodness! No, it, it couldn't work that way. Arm has to deliver the finishing blow, doesn't he? It can't be any other way. How close does... No, you... too far away. Looks like he might have to... If we want Arm to get the finishing blow, then we need to just get people out of that range. He's just then done, actually. I can do it. I can't believe Arm is one step away. I want it so bad. Got it! Now it depends what side she gets rescued on. It's the second part of it. If he gets rescued to the left of her, that would suck. To the right of her, fine. To the top of her? What is that? RNG. Oh, wait. He can do it? He has enough range. I thought it was two range. Obviously not. It's a bit more than that. It's time to finish the fight. Just wondering if I should uh, kill that one guy first for that experience. I feel bad leaving it on the field. You know what I mean? Now admit that was great. Leave this to me. Guy can't crit. Can hit you a turn. I believe. He waits 30 more seconds. Yeah, I gotta let Rudolph wait. Please, you must heal. Oh, it should be fine. Especially when you've got this coming in. Double crit. You're doing it on purpose now. Okay. This is my last fight. It's about to happen. Not bad. Arm versus Rudolph. The time is now. Finish it. Let's see this ultimate move on Rudolph. All right. This is as it should be. Don't do the level up in this moment. Huh? 
Just my imagination, I guess. Don't do a disappointing level up at that moment. And we got the angel ring. Right, hopefully they all put down arms now, otherwise I'm screwed. The remaining three troops that I left alive. You've done well. I'm proud of you, my son. What? I knew I was right to entrust you to my dearest friend. Your friend? You mean... my son? What's going on here? What are you saying? I thought you'd have realized by now your true name. Your true name is Albine Om Rudolph. You are my one and only son. I... What? That can't be true. You're lying. Why should I believe a word you say? <coughs> be still, Om. I haven't time left to explain. But I beg you to grant me one final favor. You want a favor from me? Take the divine fortune that sealed Miller's strength. Duma has become a thing of mindless evil. Use the blade and destroy him. Please, my son, you must. No, wait! Emperor Rudolph! Were you truly my father? Then I've just... Oh, God! What have I done? Stop! Please, no more! Um, how has it come to this? The boy will come to slay Lord Duma ere long. A fool's errand, I fear, without falchion. Om is coming here? Please, you mustn't hurt him. My soul alone is all you need, yes? Oh, then you will offer up your soul to Lord Duma willingly? I will. If it saves Om, I will surrender my soul gladly. <laughs> As you wish, your highness. Now come with me. We got an award, Armistice, awarded for bringing the war with the Regalian Empire to an end. Isn't an armistice where you make peace, but not necessarily by conquering the nation? I thought that's a different thing. But yes, it was obvious that Arm was indeed the child of Rudolf. And why he believed it so fast is as soon as he stepped into Regal, he knew that this was familiar. He knew that this was something. The fact that Meissen also sent, you know, arm off to fight. It's probably why Meissen hasn't really been around either. Like, they knew a thing. I imagine either Duma had hold on Rudolph. We're going to find out, I guess. Or that Rudolph literally had to do this to make someone's, you know, arm strong enough to face his fate. Because without war, why would he have actually got this good, trained this well, got this army? He wouldn't have. Able to take the next bit on. It would have been all a lost cause, but I guess this will get revealed? I guess? Duma Incarnate awarded for learning and using Arm's ultimate art. Against his dad, nonetheless. And so that brings us back out to the map, of which I guess the X marks the spots... ...are no longer there? No, they are. But they're going to go in time, aren't they? Obviously, we've got to check out the castle itself and anything that might be there. I imagine everything else will despawn after the fact. So we finally completed, or what looks to be completed, Act 4. Who knows? we still got to get rid of Jeddah and get him away from Selica before Selica makes the stupid mistake that she's about to make. Fingers crossed for that. 
but I feel it was a good session. We got through it. We only used two more four times because of silly things. Not actually, like, deathly things apart from the one arrogant moment. Idiot. And no party chaos. Great. We got some more promoted units, some more power, some more meat to the party. The one thing I really want the most at this point, though, is to kind of get these guys like... Matilda, I wanted to get her level 20. Lucas is so close now, basically by standing still. Forsyth, if I can get them to level 20, that'd be great. Apart from that, it's just... Promoting people, and then just using Delphia to do everything for me. Essentially. So thank you guys for watching this session as we continue on next time. We fire emblem. Shadows of Valentia. We step into the castle. Because of course, Bakut's still inside there, isn't he? Bakut's still there. What'll happen? I'll see you for that. Bye-bye.